Hey everyone and welcome back. Now we're back in our photo inspiration app. You have this resource, you know, it may be a little bit different based off of what we've been uh, kind of throwing together, but you know, there's a bunch of different options there in terms of prototyping and, you know, just to kind of get you started as to, you know, having a good resource to see how to apply something like this to even something else, your own personal project. The next part of this series is to really understand well, okay, I want to create a nice transition from an image to, you know, an images detail screen and what that could possibly look like. So what I've designed here is just like an image screen. It's going to have the main image at the top. It's going to have some similar photos. It's even going to have a like button. We'll get into even maybe even creating this little micro interaction and keeping it super simple, at least for now. But we're going to actually just get right into it. So I'm on my prototype panel. And if you notice within the design file, you'll see I have this one named as rectangle two. I have this one named as rectangle two as well. So I'm sure you know exactly what's going to happen here. We're going to have a nice transition from this page to this page with this scaling up because this is now much larger and it's going to be positioned differently with all the other content you know, dissolving in. So let's see what that is going to look like. Hopefully it works. We are going to, you know, we'll uh, drag over to this next screen. So we have the animation set. We're going to keep it simple for now. We have it set to 300 milliseconds. So on tap, it's going to navigate to that screen. Everything should work properly. So I'm starting at the beginning by pressing R and if I click that, boom. So a couple of things did happen here. If you notice this dissolved into the screen because this wasn't there before, but also the navigation changed. So now we're not on a home screen. So we probably, if we were thinking about kind of animating backwards, we would need to add a back button or something like that. But you know, for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to keep it here. Now, Let's restart it. Boom. Now we're here. Okay. So there's a couple of things we can do here. You know, we can go ahead and we can even animate this if we like. Let's do something different. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just move this over. I'm going to hold shift so it doesn't move up or down. It just stays on that line. Just align that there. I'm going to command C and command V. So I have a new screen here. So what I want to do is I want to be able to actually drag back and forth between this container. Maybe there's more photos. So let's take a look. So there's a couple of ways we can do this. You know, we can go ahead. I'm going to hold down option for me and just drag those two off the screen here. You can command C, command V that frame if you'd like. It's called similar photos. And I'm going to open up Unsplash. I'm going to search up portraits again. And I'm just going to take, you know, maybe couple of the first ones. And so these are named the exact same. So this is rectangle seven, rectangle nine, let's call this new photo one, new photo two. And we're going to select both of these photos and I'm going to command C them. Actually, you know what? I'm going to just drag this right into this area. So it's dragged onto the frame. We see similar photos. We're going to rename that frame that we were just working on. We're going to call it more photos and we're going to hide it off screen. So what you can do is you can just kind of align it. You'll see those red guides and hide it. Just oops. You can just use your arrow keys to hide it until it is actually off the screen. So I have it hidden there. I'm actually going to delete this screen that we just created because we don't need it right now. 
but I'm going to duplicate this one screen again, Command C, Command V, and manipulate that. So I've selected both of these frames, one with the similar photos and one with the more photos, and I'm gonna move them. Make sure that that is in the frame. So now what we can do here is, I'm gonna click prototype. There's a couple ways we can do this. I'll show you both ways in terms of dragging your photos. So if I select this whole container called similar photos, I'm gonna drag it over to this next screen. And if I select on drag, it's just going to you know pre-fill that smart animate animation. And I'm gonna do the same for this one. I'm gonna click uh, more photos. I'm going to go back left and I'm gonna do on drag for the type of interaction and the animation is gonna be smart animate again. And I'm just gonna leave that. And I'm gonna go back to our app. So now we can come down here and we can start seeing that, okay, we have a dragging animation between photos. So this is really helpful if you want to kind of show that it's not just gonna be two photos, we'll have like four or more, but at least for your team to kind of know that they have to kind of design some sort of carousel or implement some sort of carousel. Now you can do this in a variety of ways. This is one way to kind of showcase kind of like an animation of two photos just sliding in. You can also do it in a way where you actually can scroll through it. And I'll show you that right now. So I'm just gonna copy this screen down here. You can copy and paste it. I'm holding on option and shift. And I'm bringing it down here. And I'm just gonna actually delete all the interactions that have to do with this screen. I'm gonna take the more photos that are off screen. You can see they're selected and they're off screen. I'm gonna actually move those into this frame. And I can delete that other frame called more photos. Oops. There we go. Let's make sure that we're on our design panel. So we have this frame now, if you see but now it's kind of bound just to these two photos. What we can do is we can extend this frame and I'm holding command so it doesn't affect anything when it comes to the constraints of these images. So I'm holding command while I'm doing that. So command and I'm gonna extend it to the edge of the right side and I'm gonna extend this one. I'm gonna leave that one there. I'm gonna make sure that it's not clipping any content because I want content to be able to show beyond the frame, but I wanna let Figma know that I wanna be able to interact with this frame. So right now I have the photos here. There's the new photo two, new photo one. I have the rectangle nine, rectangle seven. And I'm just gonna select the frame because I want to be able to see images flying from the side. And I'm going to be able to go to prototype and it'll say overflow scrolling. And right now it says no scrolling. So, you know, before I even start, I'm gonna create a new one. Scroll, I'm gonna call it scroll container. I'm gonna go into my project. I'm gonna see our original flow drag container over here. You can even see like it houses the other animations that we came up with but I'm gonna go to the scroll container one and here it's just this page, but you know, it just has this kind of container. And now you'll notice that I can't scroll on it. I can't drag it. I can't do anything to it. Now, if I do set it to horizontal scrolling, I mean, you could do vertical scrolling if you want. You can even do horizontal and vertical scrolling, but I'm gonna set it to horizontal scrolling. You'll see that I can actually create that drag animation within this one a single screen so it keeps it nice and clean. And what people like to generally do here when it comes to images, they like to, you know, do something like this. Let me go back to my design panel and they'll go something like this. Maybe it's a uh, eight, but you know, giving users, I'm gonna hold command again to shrink that. And if I go back, you'll see like a little bit of the next photo. So you can, you know, easily go ahead and change that. And again, if I uh, move this frame and I just align it, not only you saw how this image just stopped at the very edge and we don't want that. We want it to be able to kind of stop right 
in the margins here. Same with this one on the left. So we're able to kind of go back and forth. And this is really nice if you kind of want somebody to be able to scroll beyond. And probably the easier interaction that you can create without necessarily going from screen to screen. But if you really do want to showcase like a certain type of uh, swiping gesture, then it's probably best if you do this and you can kind of really fine tune the swiping. But if you want to just kind of showcase them being able to horizontally scroll, then let's go to our next flow. This is totally fine. So that is how you kind of create not only that secondary flow from going from an image to a screen, but also connecting the two together, but also how you can create like two different types of drag animations, one using the actual drag interaction and the other one just creating a frame that houses different types of items off the screen and the selecting horizontal scrolling when you have the frame selected and while you're on your prototype panel like this.